So in this demo, we want to augment our search results to display star ratings in the hover panel. We're going to create an interface where users can actually rate a document directly from the search results window. And we'll do this inside a hover panel. So what we're going to do is we're first going to go take a look at item underscore default.html. We're going to use this particular template because it's used, um, it's just a default one, it's a good starting point. Uh, there's a couple of peculiarities that we have to deal with when implementing this uh, on SharePoint Online, which we'll see here in a minute. But I want to walk you through what this kind of looks like. Now, on item default HTML, we don't have to do a whole lot. But what we do need to do is register to manage properties we need to make this happen. So let me show you what those are. Uh, these are average rating, list item ID. We're going to use that to do the set rating call at the very end of the demo, and list ID. That gives us the actual list ID of the list. So average rating contains that rating, the same rating that, you know, if a user clicks on a document library, that's the same value there. Also, we need to include uh, two lines of script, uh, first being jQuery, and the second being reputation.js. That's the client-side script that allows us to make readings. <laughs> so we're done in that particular file. So what we're going to do next is we're going to add this functionality to item common hover panel underscore body dot html. Now, the reason why we're doing that, and it is a shared file, and I said don't edit these if you can avoid it, is because we want this to appear on all display templates. So I'm going to edit this file as well. And we're going to come through and we're going to add a little bit of code. So I'm going to start by adding, let's just start with adding what the reading is to begin with. So I'm going to put this at the very bottom inside this last div. I'm just going to add it. So we're just saying context.currentitem.averageRating. So that's the name of the managed property. We save it. And now we're going to go back to our search results page and we're going to issue a query. And this time I'm going to look for the 2011 employee evaluation. And on this page, we have the item we're looking for. And we'll just wait for the hover panel to come up. And boom, there's a rating. It's been rated a four. Now that's great. Doesn't look that good to the user. How can we make this better? Well, of course, we want to have stars just like they do in the document library. So that's what we're going to implement next. <coughs> so let's go back to <coughs> our <coughs> uh, item common hover panel underscore body. And I'm going to grab another little snippet of code that adds it to it. Oh, don't worry, I'm going to walk you through this. And of course, as I promised before, these will be available uh, immediately following this session that you can download and tweak with yourself. Now, this looks like a lot of code, but it's really not. What are we doing here? Well, first, I'm getting a fractional rating and an integer rating. This is so I can do half stars and quarter stars and things like that. And we're just using standard math functions to make that happen. Then I'm iterating through the loop, one through five, and I'm generating an ID for that particular star item. And it's based off the ID, which is already defined up above later in the template. We write that to the, H the href, and so we're gonna need the ID later because we're gonna add a post render handler to add the click event on the very end. And now all I'm doing is saying, okay, if I is less than the integer rating, display a full star. If it's got uh, a fractional rating, display a half star, and if there hasn't been any readings at all. Let's do this empty star. Now, ideally, probably what you'd want to do is a CSS, but I wanted to show you exactly what it's doing, much clearer, I think, this way. Um, more than likely, you'd implement with CSS, and you'd have some hover effects and things like that. So let's see what difference this makes. Let's save the page. We'll give it just a second, and it finished saving. And then... I will refresh the page of our query. And this time when the page loads, we will take a look at our design manager. And there we go. Now we have stars for each one. Now this looks pretty good, right? But of course we still can't click on it and do anything yet, right? Okay, so how do we take care of that? Well, we need a little bit more code. This code's a little bit more involved, but we're going to add 
an on post render handler to make this happen. So if you remember back in item default.html, we added those managed properties list item list item ID and list ID. We're going to make use of those real soon. We also added the script for reputation.js. We're going to need that. So what do we do? I'm going to come back here and I'm going to find an empty section that's not inside an if block. 